Hello and good day to all the learners of Paaralang Pag-ibig at Pag-asa Integrated School. I am Nina Bianca Eloresto and I will be your host today for National Reading Month Kickoff with the theme Bawat Bata Bumabasa sa Kabila ng Hamon ng Pandemya. To formally start our celebrations kickoff, may I request everyone to please stand up as we put ourselves in the presence of our Lord with a prayer to be followed by our national anthem through video presentation. Heavenly Father, we come to you in confidence asking for your blessings and graces as we start the celebration of our National Reading Month. We thank you that no matter what we may face today, with your help, we will be able to endure, overcome, and prevail. We thank you in advance for your strength and energy that will sustain us, your wisdom that will guide us, and your peace that will fill us. May we honor you today in all we think, say, and do. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Mga Kababayan, Ang Pampansang Awit ng Pilipinas You may now be seated, and now in this juncture, let us listen to a welcome message from our principal, Mrs. Minasol D. Bakli. Good day to all the learners sa Paralang Pagdating at Pagasa, Integrated School. I would like to start by wishing you and your family good health and safety in this time of difficulty. In line with the celebration of our National Reading Month with the theme, Bawat Bata Bumabasa Sa Kapila ng Hamon ng Pandemya. I encourage all learners to engage themselves into reading, even at the comforts of your home. It is true that because of our current situation, the pandemic we have faced too many challenges and changes. We are opted to shift our regular face-to-face -face classes to online and modular. Sometimes, we may feel bombarded by being confined inside our houses and by having limited chances to go outside or travel. Thus, I consider really as one thing that we badly need right now. It is our portal to places we cannot visit for a while, or to places impossible to go altogether. In all likelihood, it is our doorway to a better future. So, to all our learners, I look forward on seeing in the different activities that we will be having for this month's celebration. God bless everyone. Our gratitude, Mom Yina, for that wonderful message that you have shared with us. 
Charles W. Ilyu once said, Books are the quietest and most constant friends. They are the most accessible and wisest counselors and the most patient of all teachers. Through reading, we discover new things, widen our imaginations, and enhance our thinking skills. And as a part of our National Reading Month celebration, our school will conduct various activities where you PPPIS students can join. And to further explain the schedule of our activities, contests, and mechanics, I now give you our English coordinator, Ma'am Shaira Micaela D. Omari. Thank you very much, Ma'am Bianca, for that wonderful introduction. Once again, I am Ms. Shaira Micaela D. Umali, and I am PVP ISS English Coordinator. I am here to discuss to you all the things that you must remember, events, schedule, and activities that we will be having for the celebration of our National Reading Month with the theme, Bawat Bata Bumabasa sa Kabila ng Hamon ng Pandemia. So kids, Get yourselves ready for the following events. We have here the character portrayal for all grade level, draw and tell for kindergarten fast learners, read and draw competition for our special education learners, level three to four and grade three. We have poem recitation for grades one to two fast learners, creative storytelling for grades three to four fast learners, we have speech writing and delivery for grades five to six fast learners. And for our grades four to six HI and all our junior high school students, we have here our poster making contents. Now, here are the following dates that you need to remember it, uh, regarding our celebration. On November 5, that is today, will be our virtual kickoff live via our official FB page at TEPED tayo paaralang pag-ibig at pag-asa integrated school. If you are currently watching with us right now, kindly send us some heart reactions and comment good morning in our comment section down below. On November 12, we will be having our character portrayal day. November 19 will be the deadline of the submission of all the entries for all the contests that I have mentioned a while ago. And then on November 26 will be our culminating activity and we will also be having our virtual storytelling activity live via our official FB page at DepEd Tayo para lang pag-ibig at pag-asa integrated school. Now, um, as we continue, I will now be discussing all the mechanics and the criteria for the said events. For our character portrayal, here are our mechanics. All interested students are enjoined to post their best shot as they portray their favorite literary character. It may be foreign or local. So here are the contest mechanics. All students are encouraged to uh, join this contest. Participants shall choose just one literary character to be portrayed. Participants will prepare one line of the character they portray and they will be delivering it. Participants must use recyclable and indigenous materials for their costumes. Again, we do not encourage you to buy or spend something for this activity. Let us use our creativity and use indigenous materials and recyclable materials in making our costumes. The elimination will be on November 12, as I have mentioned a while ago, and shall be done during our online class. The advisor, together with the other teachers, will then select top three who will represent their class. Participants who will be chosen will prepare a video with their costume on while delivering their line or the line of their character that they are portraying. It will be sent through their FB group on November 12, 2021 until November 19, 2021. The video uh, can be taken using any available digital device. The use of editing apps is allowed also. As what I have said, the deadline will be on November 19, 2021. And a Google Drive will be provided for you to submit here all your entries. Photos or videos taken from any commercial studio is, is strictly not allowed. And judges' decision is final and irrevocable. 
Now, for our draw and tell uh, contest for, for our all kindergarten students, here are our mechanics. Every student, again, is encouraged to join and participate. Uh, participate. Participants will read any story, then draw their ideas from it. Participants will use one eight illustration board to portray their drawing. After that, they will make a two minute video for the explanation and elaboration of their work, the retelling part. And then the submission of all entries will be by November 19, 2021. Judge's decision is final and irrevocable and all the winners will be announced during our culminating day for our power recitation for grades one and two. Again, every participant is encouraged to join. Participants will read the same piece. Later on, I will be showing you the piece that uh, you will be reading for our poem recitation. The video delivery should only be within two to three minutes. Uh, the use of props and other material materials are allowed but not required. The submission of all entries will be on November 19th. Judge's decision is final and irrevocable. Winners will be announced on our culminating program. For the creative storytelling for grades three to four, we have here the following mechanics. Every student, once again, is encouraged to join. Participants will read the same story, just like in our poem recitation. The video delivery should only be within five minutes. This is a typographical error. Again, that's five minutes. The use of props and other materials are allowed but not required. The submission of entries will be on November 19th. Judges' decision is final and irrevocable, and winners will be announced again during our culminating program. Now, for grades five and six fast learners, we have here the speech writing and delivery. So in here, students once again are encouraged to join. The speech must be original and should be composed of four to five paragraphs. The speech must be persuasive and should be aligned with the theme, Bawat Bata Bumabasa Sa Kabila ng Hamon ng Pandemia. Participants should submit a PDF copy of their written entries and a video for their delivery not exceeding five minutes. The deadline of submission again will be on November 19 and winners will be announced during our culminating program. Now for the poster making and read and draw contest for our uh, grades four to six HI and uh, all the junior high school students, grades seven to 10, here are the mechanics. Every student is encouraged to join and participate and submit an entry. For read and draw, students will be given a copy of a story that they will make a personal interpretation of what they read through drawing. So they will be reading the work, uh, the literary piece, and they will be interpreting it through their drawing. So that is what we call read and draw. Now for the poster making contest, we will be following the theme, Bawat Bata Bumabasa Sa Kabila ng Hamon na Pandemia. Okay, and then the submission of all the entries once again will be on November 19, 2021. Judges' decision is final and irrevocable. Winners will be announced during our culminating day. So here are the following criteria for judging. For character portrayal, we have here costume design, that's 25%. Use of recyclable and indigenous materials is also 25%. That's why we don't encourage you to buy a costume that is already made, okay? Because the use of uh, recyclable materials is part of our criteria. We also have here uh, line delivery, 25%. Overall creativity, poise, artistic expression is also 25%, a total of 100%. Now for draw and tell, we have here relevance to the theme and story, 30%. We have here delivery, 30%. Creativity is 20%. Visual impact of their output is 10%. And the neatness of their work is 10%, a total of 100%. For poem recitation, we have here content and memorization will be 30%. Fluency, voice quality, pace, and vocal expression is also 30%. 
Performance, gesture, posture, and confidence is 20%. Pronunciation, which includes articulation and intonation, is 20%, a total of 100%. Now, for our creative storytelling, this is for grades four to uh, grades three to four. Okay, the content the story is deliver in logical order. That's thirty four percent. Fluency, voice quality, pace, and vocal expression is also thirty percent. Performance, gesture, posture, confidence is twenty percent. Pronunciation, articulation, and intonation, 20%, a total of 100%. Now, for our uh, contest for grades uh, 5 to 6, we have speech, writing, and delivery. This is the criteria. Content and relevance to the theme is 30%. Delivery is 30%. Originality and organization of thought is 20%. And then we have here structure and creativity is 20%, a total of 100%. Now for the poster making and read and draw contest for our high school and uh, learners from HI for to six, we have here the criteria, relevance to the theme or story is 30%, originality is 20%, creativity is 15%, Color and harmony is 15%. Visual impact is 10%. And we have here the neatness is 10%, a total of 100%. So once again, those are the criteria for judging for the following events that we will be having. Now, uh, this is the piece for the poem recitation for grades one and two. We have here Friends by Abby Farwell Brown. And for the piece, for our creative storytelling for grades three to four, we have here The Honest Woodcutter by Aesop. So I hope that all the learners will be joining all our activities that we will be having for the celebration of our National Reading Month. That would be all. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much, Ma'am Shaira, for explaining all the events and activities that we will be having for our Reading Month celebration. And I'm sure all our learners are excited to join our event. Now, as we end today's program, let me leave some points for you to remember. We may be staying at home right now due to pandemic, but remember kids, the more you read, the more you know. And the more you know, the more places you can go. Once again, I am Nina Bianca Ailoresto, God bless and good luck to all.